One, two, testing. Are we ready? Okay, we're ready. I still have an armor. We've come to the black metal capital of the world. Yes, you guessed it, Norway. We've come all the way from England to come and check out this year's Inferno Festival. I myself have never experienced the Inferno Festival before, so this could get interesting. Behind me is the Rockefeller, where all the fun is going to start tonight. Let's go check it out. It's Wednesday night and we're here at the Inferno Festival in Norway and we're at the Indie Recordings launch night where we're listening to the new Keep of Kalasin album as well as some new Red Harvest tracks. Just now we're going to go downstairs to go watch Audrey Horn and Keep of Kalasin play live. This is getting crazy! On Wednesday night you played at um, the Indie Recordings kind of launch night. Um, you also, there was a play out of your latest album. Um, when is that coming out? What is it called? And what can we expect from it? Uh, the album is called Colossus and it will be out on uh, June 6th in uh, Europe. And uh, you can expect a very big album with uh, a lot of melody and uh, a lot of blast beats. Are you going to record a video for one of the songs for your new album? or? Yeah, uh, it will be the song called Ascendant. It's going to be directed by uh, Patrick, who did uh, some of the Demi Borger videos. So uh, you can expect a very big and epic uh, looking video. Um, and uh, the concept, uh, I haven't seen any of the of the the concept of it yet, but we talked about it and I sent him the lyrics and stuff. So. I think the concept will be something about what the song is about, which is actually uh, uh, the path to enlightenment and uh, and there is uh, this whole story of the Colossus album and this last song is where this uh, character actually uh, brings down the gods and uh, becomes a god himself, so it's gonna be big epic stuff like that. Keep of Glass been going for? Actually, the band has been going for, uh, I think it's almost 13 years now. But uh, things went uh, really slow in the beginning. There has been a lot of uh, obstacles along the way and uh, uh, a lot of lineup changes and stuff like that. But uh, with the 2006 album Armada, everything started to change a bit. So, And when now we have a steady lineup, lineup and can uh, start. Uh, Focusing a bit more on just getting those albums out there. There's not. Uh, there is information on on the internet about Keep of Colossus, but there's not a lot of like information about like these obstacles and lineup changes and stuff like that. Um, will you be putting more information up there for people to read or? Uh, well, uh, we try to answer in the interviews as much as we can. Uh, but we actually talked about that uh, earlier on. Um, we have uh, started thinking about doing a DVD maybe after this album or after the next one. Uh, and we started thinking about doing a whole video biography where we actually film stuff where things have happened in Trondheim and stuff like that. could be a lot more in interesting to see it in a video format instead of just reading the same old biography as you normally do. So. Okay, and um, how's the metal scene over there? Is there, there's there a lot of bands that come from there? 
there are uh, many great bands and uh, I'm also uh, trying to help a lot of those bands to reach out to a broader audience down uh, Europe. Uh, we have um, uh, our own label up there, we have our own studio called Morningstar Studio and uh, also Morningstar Records and um, uh, yeah, you have uh, some of the best metal bands from uh, Norway I think like Bloodthorn and Ketun which are great death metal bands and you have the more um, uh, hardcore thrash metal band Manifest and uh, yeah there are a lot of great bands up there so um, I think you will hear a lot more from Trondheim in the years to come. Conference? Well, this year we have an um, exciting program with um, lots of people from the music industry. Uh, we have a panel with uh, Tom Gabriel Fisher from Celtic Frost, Gal from Gogoroth, and Maniac from Shitlib, X Mayhem, discussing um, what might be the future for extreme music. And you also have the, the, the tour on, Sunday, on Saturday, is that right? Yeah, that's right. We have a tour. We, we take everybody on the bus ride. Uh, one stop is uh, the place that used to be the Helvet uh, record store that everybody knows about. And then we go to a uh, Viking cave with a big Viking ship. And we will have a um, Norwegian folk uh, music singer having a seminar about Norse culture and Norwegian um, pagan history. And we will have a Viking ride in uh, Viking costumes with Mjord and uh, lots of things happening in there and uh, that's the end of the conference part. How, um, how do you feel about the Inferno Festival? You guys live in Norway, is it an exciting time for um, people that live in Norway? Uh, obviously it is, uh, at least for those that have an interest in uh, in the metal community or are part of it. The amount of uh, national and foreign press here, uh, people from the record industry and, uh, and from magazines and national newspapers and all that and you know it, it has really just lifted off uh, and I wonder where they are going from here you know they have started to do black metal side things and <laughs> it all feels Absurd and uh, and a bit out there, but uh, still, the festival itself remains concentrated um, on the field of music. I think that uh, the conference that they have started now is uh, a new aspect to it, which also broadened the aspect of the whole festival. That now the press and uh, the labels, everybody can meet up and. Uh, Everybody gets a reason to, to go to this festival, which of course uh, add to the audience and everything. So uh, uh, I see that as a positive uh, effect of the festival. Um, tell us about the album and when are you going to record it? Um, we have been we have been working on on material and, and it works well. Uh, apart from that, uh, it's too early to really reveal too much of, of what is happening but uh, what I can say is that uh, we have put down a lot of uh, creative work uh, and uh, 3049 has never sounded as good as it does now but also we have situation a situation going on that, that's uh, uh, making it difficult for us to to uh, operate freely and, and that's just something we have to solve as fast as possible because uh, we get strangled in a situation where, where there are elements that work against us. 